if we were to see ourselves as a superorganism in which all of us are impacted by whatever any of us does, we might end up in a better place. Slime molds are superorganisms analogous to us in a way that we tend not to see ourselves. Slime mold is not in my area of expertise, but had these qualities that made it very, very interesting. They are simultaneously one and many. The way they pulse and send signals throughout the network seems to imply that they're making decisions. It's easy to dismiss slime mold decision making and say they're just processing chemicals and then there's an output behavior, but that's what humans are doing too. I wanted to challenge people to think differently about the spaces and contexts in which knowledge production occurs. That it's not just something that happens in the science lab, but something that could happen in the art studio. The gallery exhibition will have multiple components, including an installation that compiles the students' work. With the Plasmodium Symposium, I do believe that we will end up with some truly innovative solutions. What we've done with this project is to bring science to the studio and art to the lab and had students thinking in multidisciplinary means. To be at the workshops and to sit in a room with minds from all of these different disciplines all together working on a problem is very, very appealing and exciting to me.